and it's that hot day again you can see that fire there that's just started up in the last hour or so um, we're pushing 38 see it there yeah yeah there you go 38 almost 39 and someone's lit a fire always happens uh, the only good thing I suppose is the wind has just dropped uh, big time so yeah look at that that's a doozy could hear the um, the helicopters I think they're over there now but I heard them about 20 minutes ago start heading over there so yeah that's huge you can actually see the smoke the smoke actually moving see if you can see it Keep some of the roofs in for context. Yeah, you can see it moving. Not good, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. So let's go back inside. So um, yeah, yesterday the uh, the toaster crapped out on us. Uh, had a bit of a, a hot spot, which I thought was just a big crumb that got stuck and um, caught on fire, but it was actually the, um, the element that cooks your toast. So, a bit disappointing. Um, the only good consolation about it was that it was 15 years old and we definitely got our money's worth out of it. So, that was, that was quite good. Um, then the next bonus was, I jumped on appliances online. Where is it? It's that one there. And ended up getting exactly the same toaster uh, what we had. Um, it's a really good toaster, so I thought I'd get the same one. Uh, there wasn't too many out there that does what this one does, just basic, basic toasters, so, um, which is fine. But uh, yeah, I got used to this one, so I thought I like the way it cooks toast and it's pretty consistent. So I've um, got the same one. So you can get different, my mate's got that one, so that, that is a four, it'll still do four pieces of toast, but um, you can use it to do like the long ciabatta toasts and the long toast and all that That's a two two well It's exactly like this one, but only two normal slices of toast and this is one we got it's just four normal toast slices of toast um, Yeah, that's the one I like we don't ever have that other toast. So that's all good. I'll keep the instructions read them later maybe right, yeah. looks, looks a lot different than our one might um, actually put a bit of stainless steel protectant on this one. Same stuff I use on the barbecue. Good old uh, Aussie plug. That. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Nothing's changed at all. It's pretty funny actually. I hadn't like I'll show you these crumb trays. Oh, it must be just for shipping so it doesn't all bounce around. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, see it's got... I'll just put it back to normal zoom. So it's got these crumb trays. So you can take them out, tip them out, and then put them back down. But you still get crumbs everywhere else. Um, so only about two weeks ago, I finally got around to doing it, and I took it out to the shed, got the compressor, and blew it all out really nice. Um, I don't know if that's what caused the drama, but what it was, it was right in this back. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice that on the old one. You can see in there. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take a photo. But in there, there's two little, um, like nail heads or something. That's exactly where the hot spot was. So it must have been one of those things getting shorting out, and it was real. It was like yeah. All the rest was orange, and just there was like a really bright yellow. And then I blew on it and went zzz, and all, everything went dark. Even though it was still toasting, it was halfway through toasting, all the elements just flipped out and just turned off. So definitely shorted it out. I'll take a, a better photo with some better light in there. Um, yeah, so not good. But anyway, glad we could still get the same one. So that's good. Um, I'll, I'll turn it on. I'll connect it on and I'll show you some of the features. Okay, so it's got it's got that cool little thing that you can wrap your wires around, so that way you don't um, you don't end up with a mess of wires at the back here. Um, 
and it's not really something that you're going to be moving so all good so this all looks the same this doesn't look like it's changed in 10 years uh, they look orange on the camera but they're actually really really red like that last digit they're all the same color i don't know why it's not showing that but i normally keep it on like that i think so just before the five like that and that gives you the really really good uh, toast so you got so when you want to start i don't know what the crumpet setting is i think it just cooks it a bit longer because the crumpets are a bit thicker um, but if you get a piece of bread we always keep our bread in the freezer so if you go toast and then frozen it knows that you've put frozen bread in there and it cooks it bang on it's it's always spot on um, you can do a lift and a look so I think it'll work now there's I think it doesn't work the last 30 seconds so if you go oh, I think it's almost ready I don't want it to burn you don't actually turn the elements off you can see the elements are, are all on you hit lift and look it comes up keep an eye on it go yeah no nah, that's all good and then it'll go back down and continue without resetting without resetting so it'll just continue cooking um, crumpet frozen oh and a bit more so if it comes up and, and it beeps at you to say um, your toast is done and say you've forgotten to hit frozen so it's not quite done yet you can just go a bit more puts it down for another 30 seconds something like that and um, yeah works really good so I use um, once you get to know it and you know where to put this and you use the same bread all the time that's the trick because if you use like a thinner bread or something like that um, it's obviously going to be a bit lower down the scale but if you use a thicker slice then it's going to be up but we always buy the same bread so once you get used to your bread buying the same bread you don't really use a bit more uh, once you once you got this dialed in this uh, setting here um, I'll turn that off because we're not cooking anything so yeah yeah, once you once you get used to your bread and you've really got this nailed, you don't really use that um, a bit more. Oops, cancel. Um, same with the lift and look. Unless you're doing a crumpet or something out of the ordinary, then you probably will use a lift look and a bit more. But yeah, it's a cool cool toaster. I like it. Um, you just leave it, and after a while, these just go these go dead. These lights, and it'll just turn itself off. So. Yeah, not much more else I can say. I reckon when that, when that poos, oh, sorry, when this poos itself, which I don't think it's going to be, it's a KitchenAid toast. I was talking about it in another video. It's just, um, yeah, I mean, sorry, the kettle. This this thing never works. You you've got to you've got to pretty much press it and pry it, and it's 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 really, there it goes. It's really annoying. I don't know what it is. I've tried spraying like some grease or something in there and it just doesn't work they just we, this is our third one for that reason and they just send you a new kettle they don't even i think we just sent them a video of what happened and then like two days later a new kettle rocks up and they don't even want the old one back so it must they must be just so cheap to kitchenaid um i mean it's good it's got you can type in whatever temperature you want 60 50 i think in 10 degree increments so that's cool if you're doing to cup of teas and stuff like that or fruit teas or whatever but yeah, I think if when this finally goes, we'll probably get the matching kettle um, to this thing. And um, yeah, that'll, that'll be pretty cool. Have all matching stuff. But I think she got red because she's got some red little... Uh, we used to have a red clock as well. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's all good. And then um, this thing's pretty cool. We got this from the same... So the, now the toaster is appliances online. The dishwasher, I just done a review on that, so that'll come out pretty soon. That's from Appliances Online. And this cool coffee machine, that's from Appliances Online. So, yeah, this one works. I'll give you a quick rundown on this. But it's uh, literally chuck your beans. Chuck your co um, it grinds it for you. Put your water in there. And off you go. Makes a really nice... Actually, I'm going to make one because it's that time of the afternoon. So, this will turn into a double... A double review, so turn it on. Press and hold for a bit, that's right. There it goes. Get the milk. It's 
it's just heating up at the moment. Probably should should show that heating up, and then it does a little rinse thing. So don't put your your cup there that you're going to use. Should have enough water. We'll see how we go. This is my trusty cup. Really nice. It, it doesn't it rinsing, but it doesn't spit anything out here, which is good. So you can you can put your cup there, but I just like. Okay, so now, um, I don't really know, I haven't read the instructions, but um, coffee I use if you want a black coffee, espresso if you want an espresso, but to make uh, a latte, which is what I'm going to make, I use espresso, so you just hit that, hopefully you can read that, hang on, let me go and get the Windex. So don't clean it when it's on because you just press buttons. Don't know what's going to happen now. I just cleaned everything down with bleach and bleach kind of leaves that um, misty stuff. Yeah, so if I want a black coffee, I'll go click on coffee, uh, like a, a long coffee. If you want an espresso, then click on espresso, obviously. Uh, steam is for when you want to do your milk. Uh, espresso, I don't know what they are, and I don't use it for hot water because I've got a kettle. Um, so yeah, espresso for doing lattes, 60 mils of coffee in each shot, and you can see there there's a picture of two cups, so it's doing a double shot. If you only want single shot, you press that one. Uh, high temp because I like it hot, and I like it strong, so that's your strength meter over there. And that's it, start. Grinds it. And then while that's working, you want to be naughty, have a bit of vanilla essence or hazelnut or whatever you want. Just a little bit, don't need a lot. And then while that's doing that, I can fill my milk up. I use almond milk, I'm not, I'm not a fan of cow's milk. Doesn't doesn't agree with me. So I know for one cup, just put this back in the fridge. Ah, oh, needs water. Not a very good review and not very organised. Uh, I don't normally take that thing out, um, the water container out of there. I just get a cup and fill it up. Uh, what you should do though, what you should do is we got, uh, if the light turns on, one of these filtered water jugs and that's what I normally use for the coffee machine. Um, I don't go too crazy on it because we got a filter for the whole house as well so it kind of spits out better water than what that jug does but if I've got time and I know it's empty uh, then I'll normally, I'll normally filter water that's already been filtered in the garage for the whole water so it's like double filtered water for that so all good so that's got two shots of coffee in it and then the milk I was saying I know to fill up my milk the same level as this bottom thing here and that's enough for one cup so we'll do that now so now you just click on steam and start it takes a little while so there's no rush I don't know why, but my watch sleeps on top of the coffee machine. I think I take it off when I do the dishes sometimes. And get a sponge ready. And you'll hear it starting up pretty soon. Dunk, dunk, dunk. There it goes. Put that in. Probably won't hear me. I'll explain it later. Oh, that's pretty quiet. So I keep, I keep my hand under it, and when it starts getting too hot for my hand, um, that's when I know it's done. And I try not to drag too much air into the... Uh, I just use a steam to heat the milk up. I don't want it um, really bubbly. Uh, just by planting the thing in the milk, it, it heats the milk up and puts a bit of steam in it. Like it, It's definitely thicker than just straight out of the thing there. But if you start doing this, 
that's when you drag way too much air in. Um, it's probably okay for cow's milk, and then just clean that. Always make sure to just clean that. Um, it's probably okay for cow's milk, but um, what's the name? Almond milk goes a bit funny. There we go. Perfect. Just got a little bit of milk left over. Done. And spot on, yeah. That's it. Lovely. It's a really good machine, that. Um, we used to have, I think we've gone through two Nespresso's and the pumps go. And they're just not worth fixing for what they cost to, to, to buy another one. And I'm just over the pod, the pod filters, uh, the pod coffee. So I thought I'd get something with uh, beans in it. And uh, the beans we get are from a shop up the road. They are, it's a place called Brew. Brew coffee roasters, so they roast their own coffee. Really good. That's about $50 a kilo, last time we bought one. And then I found these guys online, and they're only um, $30 a kilo, so 20 bucks cheaper. So I, I haven't even opened them yet, but we've got a Espresso Delight, Long Kiss Goodnight, and a Crema, Crema Lips. So, yeah, they tell you. They tell you all about it, but... They're the most popular ones, so I thought I'd try them first. Most popular ones, so we'll give them a bash. But I've still got a little bit, little bit left um, of the brew one, so and it's open, so I'll just use that first, and then we're done. But yeah, that was a review on a toaster turned into a coffee machine review. But it's as easy as that. It's really easy, and when it needs cleaning, it tells you. Um, you just well, you just follow the instructions. I can't. I couldn't even tell you how to do it. The instructions literally come up on the screen. And you got the descaler of this brand, or you get a descaler that's compatible with this brand. I think it was. Um, it's up there. It's up in the cupboard there. But I've only done it once. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's really easy. Really easy. If you're doing little cups, you can do. You can bring that down. And if you're doing the really small espresso cups, you can put that like that. So like, like that. So you got hardly any distance. Otherwise, that just stays there normally. Um, when it's it'll come up to say when it needs emptying when the when the coffee things are full you can see them in there in that little thing and i just give it a nice rinse out every three or four days if we use it mainly on the weekends i don't normally use it on during the week and then when it does need a clean i'll probably do a video on it um you, you just open this door and the whole mechanism just comes out and you wash it you just put it under the sink and wash it um, so yeah, really easy. And then it came with came with a little thing of grease, but uh, inox inox make a big tube of grease that's the same as that. And um, you just grease up a few little critical points in there. Tells you the instructions. Really easy. So yeah, no, easy as. Anyway, yeah. So that was the coffee machine turned toaster review, but or toaster turned coffee machine review. These boys are starting to. Getting a bit antsy, I think. Starting to play. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, next thing on the cards, I'll get rid of this box for the toaster. Next thing on the cards, I might do it tomorrow, is uh, I've got a new foam cannon. Um, it's not one that attaches to your uh, pressure washer. It's one that just goes straight to your garden hose. So, interesting to see how that goes. Uh, I mainly got it for our um, grass. Because we got um, artificial turf out the back. You probably can't see it. It's too bright. But yeah, we got artificial turf. And with two dogs that uh, do wheeze on it all the time, it it can get smelly. But I've got a way to clean it with some special cleaner with enzymes. And definitely a foam cannon you need to really get into it. And it's fine. And it lasts a while. And yeah, I've heard of people down at the dog park ripping up their artificial turf. Because it does smell, especially on hot days like today. Um, but you can go out there now and it doesn't smell because I only just did it last week. So, um, yeah, it's definitely doable. I've done a video on it. I'm probably going to do suss this one out and then I'll do another video um, on how to do it. The trick is to do it either at night time or early in the morning or in winter. Um, in winter, I find I don't even do it as much because the rain kind of takes care of everything. 
Um, but there's no point going out there now because the enzyme stuff has to sit for about 10, 15 minutes. And in this heat, it's just gonna evaporate in two, two seconds. So you, you either do it really early in the morning, you pre-wet it and then do it, let it sit and then rinse it, or you do it at night time, do the same thing, but at night time when it's cooler and no sun's out. But um, that's for another video. I get sidetracked really easy and you can see how a toaster unboxing turns into a coffee machine, turns into cleaning your artificial turf because you've got dogs. Thanks for watching. I'll end it here before it gets too long. Catch you later. See ya.